what emergency conditions warrant the use of steroids? And in your um, in your um, notes, you refer to the CIA. <laughs> I do indeed. Yeah. So I think um, because steroids have been described for such a wide variety of diseases, um, some of which they're useful for, and some of which they're not useful for, and could potentially be harmful in. Um, a, a fellow criticalist and I came up with this idea of the CIA and the A's. Right. Um, so C would be cancer. So there are some types of cancer that will respond well to steroids. I would be immune-mediated diseases like immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, um, uh, immune-mediated skin diseases, and then the A's are things like atopy, um, asthma, um, allergy, um, things like anaphylaxis, so uh, Addison's disease, so it seems like a lot of them seem to fall under the A's. But there are lots of diseases where steroids actually probably cause more harm than good, and some of them are diseases that we've sort of classically used steroids for, but new evidence would suggest that that's not a good idea. So things like spinal cord injury would be an important one, uh, head trauma, a very important one, and shock. I think those are three that um, a lot of people use steroids for and, and I would argue that if you look at the current literature it's not very well supported. We have very good evidence now. Admittedly, it's human evidence, but but very good evidence from a very large clinical trial that steroids are actually quite detrimental to people with head trauma, leading to less survival to discharge um, than patients who didn't get steroids. So definitely would steer clear of, of steroids in that kind of condition. I think for injuries like spinal cord injury, it's a little bit more questionable. There is certainly some evidence that they can be helpful, but a lot more evidence that they can actually cause complications like infections um, and immune suppression. And, um, gastric ulceration, things like that. Um, and so I think if you look at the recommendations currently in human medicine, uh, the, the general consensus is not to use them for spinal cord injury anymore because the evidence that there are complications associated with it is much greater than any evidence of benefit. I love how you wrap it up at the end of the session. What are the questions veterinarians should ask themselves before reaching for steroids in emergencies? Yeah, I mean, I think you want to ask yourself, is there a definite benefit associated with it for the disease you're treating? Are there risks associated with it? Um, there, there are always risks associated with steroids for any patient you give them to. And then does do the benefits actually outweigh the risks in those cases? I think that you always have to make that decision for any therapy you choose for your patients. So make sure that you're comfortable that the benefits outweigh the risks.